Hello, hello, happy holidays. Thank you so much for clicking my video. In today's video, I am back again with another wig show and tell. And this wig is brought to you by My First Wig. If you are interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave the website link and other websites in my description box that you might be interested in. The wig came neatly packaged in this My First Wig silk bag. When you order, they send you some extra goodies as well. I got this My First Wig pouch. It came with a rat tail comb and two hair clips. They also sent this slip that come with some tips on how to care for your wig, how to return and exchange your wig. It just come with some really good information about your wig and their hair company. They also sent a slip with my order information on it, all the details to my wig. I will say it in the video and also list it in the description box as well. Here is a close up of the inside cap construction on the wig that I have. It comes with a 13 by 6 lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal, there are two combs with another comb in the nape area and adjustable straps. They inserted a adjustable elastic band that come with three hook settings. As for the wig, it was made on a stretch fit material. And the lace is a soft lace that has a very light brown tint color to it. I wouldn't call it transparent. And this is how the wig looks straight out of the package. Hey y'all, check out this hairline. The hairline comes pre-plucked and the knots come bleached. When you order, all the wigs come like this. They handle all the major stuff. So when you get your wig, it can be prepped and ready for install. I must say, my first wig did a great job plucking the hairline and bleaching the knots. The hair texture on this wig is a kinky, straight, blown out texture. It feels, what, y'all? I'm not gonna lie, it feels realistic. Stay tuned so y'all can see how realistic it looks in the end. So I'm gonna take this lace tint and I'm gonna spray one layer of this True Match lace tint in the shade Bronze underneath the lace and then I blow dry it until it's completely dry. I blow it dry it on the warm setting. Now I'm gonna style the wig on my black head and the wig comes as a left part, but I would like to do a right side part. So after I part the hair, it got some oomph in it. So to get that oomph down, I'm gonna go in with a hot comb and the hot comb I'm using in this and this hot comb. I got it off of Amazon. If you're interested in it, I'll be sure to leave it in my description box. And I'm just pressing down the parting space and smoothing out the hairline. This just helps the parting space lay in the direction that I would like it to lay. And it also helped the parting space get a little flat. Well, a lot more flat. <laughs> Okay, yes, check it out. My first wigs did that hairline. I'm so glad I don't have to go in and pluck the hairline and bleach the knots. And let me not forget to mention, this wig do not come with no foul odor. So I would like to straighten out the hair a little bit more to my liking. So I'm just gonna part off the hair in the back in a thick section. After I section off the hair in the back, I go in with my Babyless Prima 3000, the temperature setting I have it on is 410 degrees, and I'm just doing a quick press out through the hair. Now I am all done straightening the hair and look at this flow that it has, y'all. It feels so soft and real. I didn't put any product on the hair because I didn't want any product weighing down the hair. Now, 
now I'm gonna take my zigzag scissors. I got these scissors off of Amazon as well. The link to it will be in my description box. I'm just taking my time and I'm cutting right along the hairline. Hello, hello, now it is time for the wig install. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. The hairline on this wig is longer than my hairline, so I'm just going to take some eyebrow scissors and cut off some of the lace by the air tabs. Next up is this olive oil super hold spray and I'm going to spray one layer of this on top of my lace to hold down my wig for this wig show and tell but I only spray right by my ear tab up to my temple. I do not spray by my forehead so from right there to right there then I go in with the blow dryer on the warm setting and blow dry until it's completely dried. I'm not worried about the wig sliding back because the uh, extra elastic band that they inserted on the inside, it has the wig laying pretty snug and in place. And I like how the lace look on my skin, on my forehead without any product. Plus this is just a wig show and tell. I'm just showcasing you guys what this wig look like for anybody that's curious. So you guys know how it comes from my first wig. Okay, so right here is my end results. And again, this wig is from my first wig. This is their Kyra Sean Kinky Straight Side Part Glueless Human Hair Invisible Lace Front Wigs. And it's style KIE001. And if you guys do not know Kyra Sean, check out her channel. She slays all day, every day. Like, she really be doing her thing. I love her channel. But this wig right here is gorgeous. Definitely looks human, looks real. I'm not gonna lie, the frontal part is really thick, but it's still cute. It go with the style of the wig. So the length of the wig that I have is 16 inches. The hair texture is kinky. Like I said before, it's a kinky straight blown out texture. When you get it, I would say it's more blown out. And when I went in with the flat iron, now it's more pressed out. It comes with a 13 by 6 frontal parting space. The hair density is 130%. And it's crazy because to me, the hair density feels thicker. As for the lace, the lace is looking real nice on my skin once I got it to match my skin tone. I'm glad I don't have to melt the whole hairline just so my end results could look pretty good. When I was styling the wig, I did get some light shedding, nothing too hectic. As for tangling, I got zero tangles. It is day one with this wig, so I know y'all expecting it to be perfect, but shoot, it need to be perfect. There's no way my wig straight out of the package should be shedding, tangling, and going crazy for something that's beginner friendly. 
I like the fact that on my first wig website, they have size cap options. So you could get size one or size two. I have size two, which fits a 22.5 to a 23 inch head circumference. My First Wigs is having a really nice jazzy sale going on over there on their website for the holidays. So definitely head on over there and just take a peek. You know, you might see something you like. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please hit the like button if this video helped you out or if you just want to support your girl. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, you guys. Be safe out there.